My name is Sonia Tiku. I'm an assistant professor of planetary sciences at Rutgers University in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. So starting in 1969, the US government was sending astronauts to the moon during the Apollo missions. And when the astronauts were on the moon, they collected a bunch of moon rocks. And so my moon rock was collected as part of the Apollo 15 mission, which landed on the moon. So here's the moon. And uh, here we have this big lava flow called Mare Imbrium. And we have uh, the Apollo 15 landing site right here at the edge of this lava plain. The fact that we identified a magnetic record this late in lunar history, this tells us that even small bodies like the moon can generate super long magnetic fields. The new uh, cool thing about this study was this was the first time we were able to successfully heat a moon rock using a special controlled atmosphere environment uh, to retrieve a stable lunar magnetic record. This is the first heating study that actually worked. What this tells us is that we need to investigate new avenues for where energy can come from in the core. Uh, possibly from core crystallization, which may relate to what the core is actually made out of. I think what this study is going to motivate us to do is to uh, expand our research into these heating techniques to try to perfect them and apply them to other lunar samples. So the Earth's magnetic field, for example, provides an invisible shield around our planet that protects us from dangerous solar wind particles and ionizing radiation. So you can imagine that if the Earth didn't have a magnetic field, we would be exposed to all of these hazards. And that could induce genetic mutations and generally create a harmful environment for life. And so whenever we look at other planetary bodies, we want to see what kinds of planets can generate long-lived magnetic fields that can last long enough to protect life over a very long time scale. It definitely leaves open the possibility of life being protected in many other places in the universe.